Quantum thermodynamics is the study of the relations between two independent physical theories, thermodynamics and quantum mechanics. The two independent theories address the physical phenomena of light and matter. In 1905 Einstein argued that the requirement of consistency between thermodynamics and electromagnetism leads to the conclusion that light is quantized obtaining the relation E equals H nu display style E equals H nu This paper is the dawn of quantum theory in a few decades quantum theory became established with an independent set of rules Currently quantum thermodynamics addresses the emergence of thermodynamic laws from quantum mechanics. It differs from quantum statistical mechanics in the emphasis on dynamical processes out of equilibrium. In addition there is a quest for the theory to be relevant for a single individual quantum system. A dynamical view of quantum thermodynamics There is an intimate connection of quantum thermodynamics with the theory of open quantum systems. Quantum mechanics inserts dynamics into thermodynamics, giving a sound foundation to finite time thermodynamics. The main assumption is that the entire world is a large closed system, and therefore, time evolution is governed by a unitary transformation generated by a global Hamiltonian. For the combined system, Bath scenario, the global Hamiltonian can be decomposed into H equals H S plus H B plus H S B Display style H equals H underscore S plus H underscore B plus H underscore S B where H S Display style H underscore S is the system's Hamiltonian H B display style H underscore B is the bath Hamiltonian and H S B display style H underscore S B is the system bath interaction. The state of the system is obtained from a partial trace over the combined system and bath rho s t equals t r b rho s b t display style rho underscore s t equals t r underscore b rho underscore s b t reduced dynamics is an equivalent description of the system's dynamics utilizing only system's operators Assuming Markov property for the dynamics the basic equation of motion for an open quantum system is the Lindblad equation LGKS rho s equals minus i h s rho s plus l d rho s Display style dot row underscore s equals i over h bar h underscore s row underscore s plus l underscore d row underscore s h s display style h underscore s is a Hermitian Hamiltonian part and l d display style l underscore d l d row s equals n v n rho s v n minus 1 2 rho s v n v n plus v n v n Rho S 
Display style L underscore D, row underscore S equals sum underscore N left V underscore N, row underscore S V underscore N carrot dagger FRAC one two left row underscore S V underscore N carrot dagger V underscore N plus V underscore N carrot dagger V underscore N row underscore S right right is the dissipative part describing implicitly through system operators V N Display style V underscore N the influence of the bath on the system. The Markov property imposes that the system and bath are uncorrelated at all times. Rho S B equals Rho S Rho B Display style Rho underscore S B equals Rho underscore S O times Rho underscore B the LGKS equation is unidirectional and leads any initial state rho s display style rho underscore s to a steady state solution which is an invariant of the equation of motion rho s t infinity equals 0 Display style dot rho underscore s t right arrow in a t equals zero. The Heisenberg picture supplies a direct link to quantum thermodynamic observables. The dynamics of a system observable represented by the operator O display style O has the form d O d t equals i H S O plus L D O plus O T Display style FRAC do DT equals FRAC I H B A R H underscore S O plus L underscore D carrot asterisk O plus FRAC partial O partial T where the possibility that the operator O display style O is explicitly time dependent is included topic the emergence of time derivative of first law of thermodynamics when O equals H s display style O equals H underscore s the first law emerges d e d t equals h s t plus l d h s display style frac the dt equals left langle frac partial h underscore s partial t right wrangle plus langle l underscore d caret asterisk h underscore s wrangle where power is interpreted as p equals h s t display style p equals left langle frac partial h underscore s partial t rig H T wrangle and the heat current J equals L D H S display style J equals Langle L underscore D carrot asterisk H underscore S wrangle. Additional conditions have to imposed on the dissipator L D display style L underscore D to be consistent with thermodynamics first the invariant rho s infinity display style rho underscore s in a t should become an equilibrium gibbs state this implies that the dissipator l d display style l underscore d should commute with the unitary part generated by h s Display style h underscore s. In addition, an equilibrium state is stationary and stable. This assumption is used to derive the Kubo-Martin-Schwinger stability criterion for thermal equilibrium, i.e., KMS state. 
A unique and consistent approach is obtained by deriving the generator L D display style L underscore D in the weak system bath coupling limit. In this limit, the interaction energy can be neglected. This approach represents a thermodynamic idealization, it allows energy transfer, while keeping a tensor product separation between the system and bath, i.e., a quantum version of an isothermal partition. Markovian behavior involves a rather complicated cooperation between system and bath dynamics. This means that in phenomenological treatments, one cannot combine arbitrary system Hamiltonians H S Display style H underscore S with a given LGKS generator. This observation is particularly important in the context of quantum thermodynamics, where it is tempting to study Markovian dynamics with an arbitrary control Hamiltonian. Erroneous derivations of the quantum master equation can easily lead to a violation of the laws of thermodynamics. An external perturbation modifying the Hamiltonian of the system will also modify the heat flow. As a result, the LGKS generator has to be renormalized. For a slow change, one can adopt the adiabatic approach and use the instantaneous system's Hamiltonian to derive L D An important class of problems in quantum thermodynamics is periodically driven systems. Periodic quantum heat engines and power-driven refrigerators fall into this class. A re-examination of the time-dependent heat current expression using quantum transport techniques has been proposed, a derivation of consistent dynamics beyond the weak coupling limit has been suggested. The emergence of the second law of thermodynamics The second law is a statement on the irreversibility of dynamics or, the breakup of time reversal symmetry, T symmetry. This should be consistent with the empirical direct definition, heat will flow spontaneously from a hot source to a cold sink. From a static viewpoint, for a closed quantum system, the E law of thermodynamics is a consequence of the unitary evolution. In this approach, one accounts for the entropy change before and after a change in the entire system. A dynamical viewpoint is based on local accounting for the entropy changes in the subsystems and the entropy generated in the baths. <inaudible> entropy In thermodynamics, entropy is related to a concrete process. In quantum mechanics, this translates to the ability to measure and manipulate the system based on the information gathered by measurement. An example is the case of Maxwell's demon, which has been resolved by Leo Szilard. The entropy of an observable is associated with the complete projective measurement of an observable a display style wrangle a wrangle where the operator a display style a has a spectral decomposition equals j alpha i p j display style a equals sum underscore j alpha underscore i p underscore j where p j display style p underscore j is the projection operators of the eigenvalue alpha j Display style alpha underscore j. The probability of outcome j is p j equals t r rho p j. Display style p underscore j equals t r rho p underscore j. The entropy associated with the observable. Display style Langle A Wrangle is the Shannon entropy with respect to the possible outcomes S A equals minus J P J Lane P J 
Display style s underscore a equals sum underscore j p underscore j lane p underscore j. The most significant observable in thermodynamics is the energy represented by the Hamiltonian operator h. Display style h and its associated energy entropy s e. Display style s underscore e. John von Neumann suggested to single out the most informative observable to characterize the entropy of the system. This invariant is obtained by minimizing the entropy with respect to all possible observables. The most informative observable operator commutes with the state of the system. The entropy of this observable is termed the von Neumann entropy and is equal to S V N equals Minus T R Rho Lane Rho Displaystyle S underscore VN equals T R Rho Lane Rho As a consequence S A S V N Displaystyle S underscore a GEQ S underscore VN for all observables at thermal equilibrium the energy entropy is equal to the von neumann entropy s e equals s v n display style s underscore e equals s underscore v n s v n display style s underscore v n is invariant to a unitary transformation changing the state the von Neumann entropy S V N display style S underscore V N is additive only for a system state that is composed of a tensor product of its subsystems rho equals pi j rho j display style rho equals pi underscore j o times rho underscore j Clausius version of the E law No process is possible whose sole result is the transfer of heat from a body of lower temperature to a body of higher temperature. This statement for N coupled heat baths in steady state becomes N J N T N 0 Display style sum underscore n frac j underscore n t underscore n g e q zero. A dynamical version of the E law can be proven based on Spohn's inequality. T r l d rho lane rho infinity minus lane rho zero. Display style tr left l underscore d rho lane rho in a t lane rho right g e q zero, which is valid for any L G K S generator with a stationary state rho infinity. Display style rho in a t. Consistency with thermodynamics can be employed to verify quantum dynamical models of transport. For example, local models for networks where local LGKS equations are connected through weak links have been shown to violate the second law of thermodynamics. Topic: The quantum and thermodynamic adiabatic conditions and quantum friction. Thermodynamic adiabatic processes have no entropy change. Typically, an external control modifies the state. A quantum version of an adiabatic process can be modeled by an externally controlled time dependent Hamiltonian H T display style H T. If the system is isolated, the dynamics are unitary, and therefore S V N display style S underscore V N is a constant. A quantum adiabatic process is defined by the energy entropy S E 
display style s underscore e being constant. The quantum adiabatic condition is therefore equivalent to no net change in the population of the instantaneous energy levels. This implies that the Hamiltonian should commute with itself at different times. H T H T equals zero. Display style H T H T equals zero. When the adiabatic conditions are not fulfilled, additional work is required to reach the final control value. For an isolated system, this work is recoverable, since the dynamics is unitary and can be reversed. The coherence stored in the off-diagonal elements of the density operator carry the required information to recover the extra energy cost and reverse the dynamics. Typically, this energy is not recoverable, due to interaction with a bath that causes energy dephasing. The bath, in this case, acts like a measuring apparatus of energy. This lost energy is the quantum version of friction. The emergence of the dynamical version of the third law of thermodynamics There are seemingly two independent formulations of the third law of thermodynamics both originally were stated by Walther Nernst. The first formulation is known as the Nernst heat theorem, and can be phrased as The entropy of any pure substance in thermodynamic equilibrium approaches zero as the temperature approaches zero. The second formulation is dynamical, known as the unattainability principle. It is impossible by any procedure, no matter how idealized, to reduce any assembly to absolute zero temperature in a finite number of operations. At steady state, the second law of thermodynamics implies that the total entropy production is non negative. When the cold bath approaches the absolute zero temperature, it is necessary to eliminate the entropy production divergence at the cold side. When T C 0 Display style t underscore c right arrow zero. Therefore, s c minus t c alpha alpha zero. Display style dot s underscore c propto t underscore c caret alpha tilde 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 alpha g e q zero tilde tilde for alpha equals 0 display style alpha equals 0 the fulfillment of the second law depends on the entropy production of the other baths which should compensate for the negative entropy production of the cold bath the first formulation of the third law modifies this restriction instead of alpha 0 display style alpha geq 0 the third law imposes alpha greater than 0 display style alpha greater than 0 guaranteeing that at absolute zero the entropy production at the cold bath is zero s c equals 0 display style dot s underscore c equals 0 this requirement leads to the scaling condition of the heat current j c T C alpha plus one display style J underscore C propto T underscore C carrot alpha plus one. The second formulation, known as the unattainability principle, can be rephrased as: No refrigerator can cool a system to absolute zero temperature at finite time. The dynamics of the cooling process is governed by the equation J C T C T equals minus C V T C T D T C T D T Display style J underscore C T underscore C T equals C underscore V T underscore C T F R A C D T underscore C T D T tilde tilde where C V T 
C display style C underscore V T underscore C is the heat capacity of the bath taking J C T C alpha plus one Display style J underscore C propto T underscore C carrot alpha plus one and C V T C Ada Display style C underscore V sim T underscore C carrot Ada with Ada zero Display style Ada GEQ zero we can quantify this formulation by evaluating the characteristic exponent zeta display style zeta of the cooling process d t c t d t minus t c zeta t c 0 zeta equals alpha minus eta plus one display style frac dt underscore c t dt propto t underscore c caret zeta tilde 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 t underscore c right arrow zero tilde 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 zeta equals alpha eta plus one. This equation introduces the relation between the characteristic exponents zeta display style zeta and alpha display style alpha. When zeta zero display style zeta, then the bath is cooled to zero temperature in a finite time, which implies a valuation of the third law. It is apparent from the last equation that the unattainability principle is more restrictive than the Nernst heat theorem. Topic: <laughs> Typicality as a source of emergence of thermodynamical phenomena. The basic idea of quantum typicality is that the vast majority of all pure states featuring a common expectation value of some generic observable at a given time will yield very similar expectation values of the same observable at any later time. This is meant to apply to Schrödinger-type dynamics in high-dimensional Hilbert spaces. As a consequence individual dynamics of expectation values are then typically well described by the ensemble average. Quantum ergodic theorem originated by John von Neumann is a strong result arising from the mere mathematical structure of quantum mechanics. The QET is a precise formulation of termed normal typicality, i.e. the statement that, for typical large systems, every initial wave function psi 0 display style psi underscore 0 from an energy shell is normal it evolves in such a way that psi t display style psi underscore t for most t is macroscopically equivalent to the micro canonical density matrix topic <laughs> quantum thermodynamics resource theory The second law of thermodynamics can be interpreted as quantifying state transformations which are statistically unlikely so that they become effectively forbidden. The second law typically applies to systems composed of many particles interacting. Quantum thermodynamics resource theory is a formulation of thermodynamics in the regime where it can be applied to a small number of particles interacting with a heat bath. For processes which are cyclic or very close to cyclic, the second law for microscopic systems takes on a very different form than it does at the macroscopic scale, imposing not just one constraint on what state transformations are possible, but an entire family of constraints. These second laws are not only relevant for small systems, but also apply to individual macroscopic systems interacting via long-range interactions, which only satisfy the ordinary second law on average. By making precise the definition of thermal operations, the laws of thermodynamics take on a form with the first law defining the class of thermal operations, the zeroth law emerging as a unique condition ensuring the theory is non-trivial, and the remaining laws being a monotonicity property of generalized free energies. See also Quantum statistical mechanics <laughs>